Welcome to your chair Pilates workout. I'm your certified health and fitness coach, Caroline Jordan, and this seated low impact fitness class is designed to lengthen and strengthen your entire body. It combines flexibility and strength training for a total body workout that you can do at any time. It's appropriate for all levels, but as always, you want to check with your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any exercise routine. This video was created special thanks to Caroline Jordan Fitness Patreon members. A Patreon is someone who's part of my exclusive community and contributes to the growth of content on this channel. So if you like and enjoy the videos that I'm creating for the Caroline Jordan Fitness YouTube community, you'll love what I'm doing over on Patreon. And I'd love to have you as part of my exclusive community. So check the link in the description box below to learn more about Patreon and how you can join me in helping support my mission of sharing movement medicine with the world. With all that being said, find yourself a comfortable seat and let's get moving with this chair Pilates class. It's time for a well-rounded workout. Sit up nice and tall and roll your shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Try that again. Deep breath in. And out. From here, reach the arms open and then round the arms in. Warming up the spine, reaching out, opening the chest and rounding through the back. Two more just like that. Reach and open, round and hug. And last, reach and open, round and hug. Beautiful job. Bring the arms down by your sides. And from here, bring one knee into your chest, grab behind your thigh. We're going to flex the foot, lengthen the leg, and then point the foot, bring it in towards the glutes. So we flex and lengthen, bend and point. Flex and lengthen, bend and point. Good. Two more. Flex. Ooh, working things up. And last one, flex and bend. Switch sides. So we'll bring it in, knee in, sit up nice and tall, flex and extend the leg, point and bring the heel towards the glutes. Again, reach and bend. Trying to stretch through those hamstrings, warm up the body. Two more, flex, good job, and bend. Last one, flex and bend. Beautiful. From here, let's take a seated cat cow. So hands on our thighs. We're going to round the spine, chin towards the chest, and then arch the back, looking up towards the sky. Again, round it in. Use the tummy muscles. And open the heart, look up towards the ceiling. Two more, round and tuck. Chin in, and then lift and lengthen the heart. Last one, round and tuck, and lift and lengthen. Beautiful, find neutral, roll your shoulders down and back, and take a side body stretch, reaching over, lengthening through the fingertips to the toes. Good, use your tummy to come back to center and switch, reach over. It looks a lot like one of my chair cardio moves. It's just slower and more controlled. Let's do this again, reach and stretch. Beautiful job. Back to center, reach and stretch. I hope you're starting to feel a little warmer because we're moving into our Pilates, chair Pilates abs next. Last one, reach and stretch. And return to neutral. Arms in front of you, one crosses over the other. Just open and close. So our arm jumping jacks. We do this exercise a lot on my channel. And you'll really feel the stretch in the chest and the shoulders. Pull the tummy in nice and tight. Sit up tall with incredible posture. And don't forget to breathe. Beautiful job. And 
relax the arms. Roll the shoulders down and back, and we're getting set up for our seated Pilates 100. So shoulders down and back. I want you to come up onto the toes and lean back in your chair so you feel your core work. Now you can stay here with your arms down by your sides, or you can bring one knee up or both knees up. Arms are long, shoulders are down. We're going to pump. So inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing. And exhale. Remember your option is legs down. And exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. We're almost there. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Relax. Shoulders down and back. Next up is our single leg stretch. So you're going to lean back. Find the core, shoulders out and back, long spine. Think about reaching out through the top of your head. Bring one knee in and the other leg long. You can always bring the leg lower down on the floor if you'd like to modify. So choose an angle that works for you. Hug that knee in towards the chest and we switch, switch. You have to lean back so you feel your core work and breathe. Now remember, if chair Pilates is new for you, do what you can do. Don't be hard on yourself. Do your very best. And that's the best thing you can do. Especially when you're trying something new. Practice self-compassion. It's your first time doing this. We're working it together. Good job. Keep breathing. Bring that knee in. You got it. Almost there. One more each side. And knees in and relax. Shoulders down and back. Now, if you can't, you can't see, the chair that I have has a back that's a little further back, so I'm able to do seated abs. So choose a seated position chair that works for your body. Next up, we've got double leg stretch. So we're gonna lean back, same position, abs tight, bring the knees in, wrap your arms around yourself, give yourself a hug. Again, if you need a modification, you're right here with the legs on the floor, leaning back, engaging the core. So we're here, we're gonna reach out, circle around. Good job, reach and circle. Reach, circle, you got it? Reach, ooh, my abs are on fire. This is five, and then six. Smiling helps with everything, doesn't it? <laughs> you got it? Eight, looking great. Nine, big smile. Last one, 10. And relax. All right, shoulders out and back, take a moment. Next, we're going to reach our arms out towards the side and engage our tummy. We're going to kick one leg forward as we touch and center. Touch and center. So you are engaging the legs, not just the core. You're working your arms, you're working your posture, a little bit of everything. Now, if you can't touch your toe, don't sweat it. Just tap in front, just like that. No problem. Remember, movement is medicine. And it doesn't matter what you look like, it matters what you feel like. So if right now, this is helping you feel better, more energized, healthier, more positive in life, you're doing it right. Good job, keep that kick and twist. Breathe, lengthen through the top of the head. No slouching in chair Pilates, it's all about posture. Good job, you got it. Let's do two more. One more each side, here we go. Touch and touch, nice job. Hands behind the head, sit up nice and tall. Squeeze your bottom. We're going to twist, twist, center. And twist, twist, center. Chin is parallel to floor. Abs are engaged. Spine is long. And twist, twist, center. Wow, my thoracic spine is tight. <laughs> it's hard for me to twist. So I work on this because it helps my mobility, not just my stability, right? Good, you got it. Twist, twist, center, last one. 
center. Use your waist. We rainbow and crunch. Other side, rainbow, crunch. I call this the rainbow because it feels like my torso is painting a rainbow. Good. Crunch it over, squeeze it in. Crunch. Now you have to have your mind-muscle connection because in order to get the parts of your body working that need to be working in this exercise, you need to think about them working. So think about your stomach helping you sit up nice and tall. Use those abs. Breathe. Whoo! I feel this. It's hard. Good job. Down and up. One more each side. And up. Last one. And relax. Shoulders down and back. Bring your hands behind you on the chair. Lift your knees up. Or for modification, you can stay right down here. We're going to do a little bit of a tuck in. So we're going to reach the legs long and then tuck them in. You might have to scooch a little forward on your chair to have more space for this. Ready? Here we go. Reach and tuck. Reach and tuck. Lengthen the legs, pull them in. You don't have to go fast to get a good workout. You need to move well. Good. So think about faster isn't better. Better is better. Stay with it. You've got four and in three and in two more. Last one. Whew, nice job. All right, shake it off. We're moving into a seated bicycle. So hands behind the head, abs nice and tight. Lean back. Feel the stomach work as you lean that torso back. From here, we go knee in, center, switch. Twist the torso. We twist and tap, and twist and tap. Good job. Twist. Work that waistline. Breathe. Seated core can be an incredible piece of your exercise programming. It can help you with back pain, life pain. So doing seated strength training can enhance the quality of your well-being. I'm so proud of you for being here today, for making time for yourself. I know it's not easy, but you're doing great. One more each side and relax. Next to the tall, we're going into a little bit of a seated wood chop. So your arms are going to go up towards the right and we're going to crunch down towards the left. I want you to think about using your stomach to do this. So here we go. We go inhale, tss, inhale, tss, inhale, exhale. You have to use your breath to enhance the quality of the movement. So I want to hear you breathing all the way through the screen. I want to hear you breathing all the way here in San Diego. Keep going for me. Breathe. Now, if you want to add props to this, you are more than welcome to add a weight to your hands if that's appropriate for your fitness level today. Good. Stay with it. Four. Wow, I feel this in my obliques. <laughs> Two more, and one. Whoo, okay, we did it together. We've got two sides, here we go. Other side, up, and twist, up, twist. Ring out that waist. Make it feel strong and stable. You've got it. You smiling yet? Because when I get my abs strong, it makes me smile. Hang in there, and breathe. Down, cross. Cross, good job. Squeeze, squeeze. Last two, whoo, and relax. Awesome, awesome job. All right, next we're doing a little bit of a lateral leg series. So you're going to scooch over to the side of your chair if you can and reach one leg out. Now from here, I'd love for you to lean into the opposite arm to give yourself a little more balance. If you need, if you can, you can also put your hands on your hips. A little more advanced here. So now we're just going to take this leg and we're going to lift it and lower it. Lift it and lower it. Now I'm grabbing onto my chair for support, but I feel my side butt, which is awesome. We're working that gluteus medius, the hips. Now again, if you want a harder option, hands on the hips. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> I always regret some of my programming. I'm like, man, now I gotta do this on camera. Whoo, sweat now. Or you do hands behind the head. Oh yeah, option. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. 
I thought chair Pilates was getting pretty creative. Keep lifting and lowering that top leg. We're gonna hold it in two, hold it up there. Now lengthen, now think about reaching out through your head and lengthening down through your toes. You should feel your waist as well. Think about length and strength. You're doing great. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Whoo! Okay, we're going to do a clam shell. So you're going to bring your knees together and your heels together and try to bring your legs out to the side, okay? I wanted to make this work out all seated so that you can do it no matter what you're, what you're facing. So we bring your feet together. We're going to open the top knee and close the top knee. So we open and close. Seated clamshells. Yes, that's what's up. Huge thank you to the Patreons who are part of my exclusive community and have contributed to making this video a possibility for all of us. So major love to you. Thank you. I'll see you in the Facebook group. We have lots of fun there. And I've got our monthly workout calendars, also fun. Okay, this is really challenging for my hips and I love it. Give me two more. Now hold it up. Hold, hold, hold. Try to open the hips. You should feel your waist and your hips. Stay there for me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Okay, that was tough. Lucky for you, you have two sides to do, so we're going into side two. So scooch over to the side of your chair, reach your leg off to the side, and you can use the side of your chair to support you with your hand, or you can do the hands on the waist option, or the hands behind the head option. So, pick your poison. When you're ready, lengthen the leg, and we lift lower. Now, typically one side is easier than the other side, so if this side is easier for you, cool. Building body awareness. I actually really liked the option where I took my hands behind my head here. That was really nice. I could feel my waist work to support me. And I want to think about lengthening through the top of my head and smiling because I'm grateful to be here working with you today. Good. Keep breathing. We lift and lower that top leg, squeezing the glutes. Now, it is really hard to work the gluteus maximus from a seated position. Really hard to work your butt when you're sitting on it. So definitely check out my floor workouts for the butt because that would be a great complement to this workout. You know what you do after this workout? You just go type in YouTube search bar, Caroline Jordan butt. You'll find a lot. Good. Keep it up. Reach and reach. We're almost there to our hold. Stay with it. Ooh, last two. Hold it up there. You got it. Think about pushing out through your toe, lifting up through your hip. Use your gluteus medius. Your hip muscles, you can do it. Breathe, 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 and relax. Okay, seated clamshell. So you're gonna bring your heels together, knees together, sit up like a little mermaid. I love it, the mermaid position. Here we go, we open and close. Open and close. Now, clamshells are an excellent exercise. They're movement medicine for the body, man. So I'm proud that we're doing this together. We're helping our body move well. Good. Keep that knee moving. Open and close. Feel free to put your hand on your hip to make sure that you're not wobbling all over the place. You're doing great. Stay with it. We're almost there. We're going to hold. I will be sore tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sore glutes. Yes. Okay, now hold it up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift and lengthen. See if you can push that knee out one more inch. You got it. Hang on. Breathe. Oh my goodness. Three, two, and whoo! If you felt that, let me know in the comments below. All right, last exercise today, we're taking our arms in genie position. So you cross one arm over the other. And what we're going to try and do is lean back, use the core, and then send our legs out in front. We're just going to do heel beats little heel beats. Oh my gosh, this is way harder than it looks. Breathe. Or maybe it looks hard and it is also hard. Maybe it's both. Keep clicking those heels, squeezing those quads. Sit up tall. Good job. Whew. Four, three, two, and relax. Shoulders at the back. Let's work into your arms next. 
So from here, we're just going to take the arms out nice and long, and I just want you to start to make circles with the arms. While you're doing your circles, squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt, sit up nice and tall. Perfect posture. Good job, circle other way. Good, start to work into those shoulders a little bit. You got it, you're doing great. This was one of my Patreon members requested this video, so you can thank her for the creation of this. I take their Patreon member requests very seriously. Good job, and relax. Hinge forward at the hips, take your arms down by your sides, and you're going to fly out to the side and come back in, like a little bird doing a back fly. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and drop your shoulders away from your ears. This exercise is great for posture. And actually, you could do this workout in the office for a little bit of movement break during your busy work day. So stay with it, keep breathing, squeeze the scapula, and next let's try a back row. So now we're going to squeeze the elbows in and release. Squeeze and release. Shoulder blades together, open the chest as you row. Think about length through the spine. And you don't want to look up at the TV. That would be bad posture, right? So keep that neck nice and long. Breathe. Let's try four more, and then we'll combine them. Last two. Now combine. So we go fly and row. Fly and row. Squeeze your abs a lot here. Breathe. You're doing great. Keep it up nice and long. Encourage yourself as you exercise. Be your own very best cheerleader. You deserve that. You deserve to believe in yourself and know that you can do it. Good. Let's try one more. And row. Nice job. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to bicep curl. Feel free to add props to this if you want to add dumbbells or water bottles. Now as you bicep curl, the option is to come up on your toes or to lean back and lift your knees. All right, so you've got a lot of different variations. You can try for different movement medicine. Keep squeezing and breathe. The abs option is always nice. Good, lift up tall, lift that heart. Stay with me, you're doing great. Almost there, last four, three, two, and one, relax. Bring your arms into a goal post position. We're going to squeeze, open, extend, bend. Squeeze and reach. Again, you could add dumbbells to this and it would be a little bit harder. So I wanted to make this all levels accessible for you no matter where you are in your fitness journey. And I just want to say that you are capable of doing amazing things. So please keep moving forward and going towards your goals. Don't stop believing and don't stop taking action on the things that matter to you. You can do it. You can do hard things. And I hope that my workouts help strengthen you for whatever adventures you have planned next in your world. Good. Stay with it. Little squeeze and reach. Squeeze and reach. We're almost there. Squeeze. Ooh, my shoulders are on fire. Thank you very much. Hang on to it. Squeeze and reach two more. Squeeze and reach. Last one. Squeeze and reach. Good job. Open the legs out. Open the arms out. Just like we started, we're going to side bend and center and side bend and center. Think about painting the ceiling with your fingertips and reaching the spine nice and long, opening through the hips and the shoulders. Good. Noticing how you feel. You got it. Two more. Oh, this feels so nice. Beautiful job. From here, inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips, bringing your head down towards the floor. Lengthen through the spine, open through the hips. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Slowly roll up. Shoulders down and back. Bring your feet together. 
Roll your shoulders back. One more time. Breathe, inhale. And let it out, exhale. Take a moment to thank your body for the gift of movement today. I can't tell you how grateful I am for the opportunity to share exercise with you on this platform. If you enjoyed this video, I want to hear all about it in the comments below. And if you liked it, make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel for more. For more exclusive video content and to be a part of my community to help support the mission of sharing movement medicine with the world, check out my Patreon page in the description box below. I'd love to have you by my side in moving well and living a healthy and active lifestyle. Great job with this chair Pilates workout and I hope to see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.